Hi, I'm Martin from Printer Potty. What we're going to be doing in this video is fitting a Printer Potty kit, like this one here, as an external waste tank to this Canon Mega Tank G6050. Now, we'll warn you, this process will involve hacking off pieces of the internal case. Anyway, let's get started. So, tools. These are the tools that I'm going to be using. I've got a small hacksaw. A pair of pliers, a pair of snips. Now these are mostly for modifying the internal case. You may find that you want to try a different approach like using a drill with a cutting disc or something similar, but this is what I'm going to be using here. I've also got a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver or a crosshead. Uh, also you'll get with your kit a pair of gloves. Really recommend you put these on because trust me, there will be some waste ink in there and I already got <laughs> already got gutted when I started looking at this printer. What we do, we take our printer and the first thing we need to be able to do is remove these two screws in the back here. So using our Phillips screwdriver, we'll screw those. stick them. I'm just going to stick them on the lid of my printer potty just to keep them in one place. Now the next bit you need to do is actually remove this side panel so that you can gain access to the waste tubes which are located in and around this area here. Now the way to do this is you lift up your lid and you will see just in here this little bit here that is a release catch so what you have in there is a little tab that you can press down on and that will release the tab that holds that in place, like so. If you've got something a little bit more angled like this, that's probably going to be better because you'll be able to get in from an angle, press down, <laughs> press down, you have to press in a little bit, there you go. Once that's released, you then bring this over to the edge. Bringing this printer over to the edge, um, there's nothing supporting it here. So what you need to do is angle it so that the feet at the front on the right hand side as you look at the front. So the feet are on there and that will stop it tipping too heavily. If you bring it too far over like that, that'll happen. You want to keep that foot over here. There's another catch located just here what you do is push into there same thing as the other one and that will release right so once you get it to this point what you're trying to do is release a couple of tabs there's one here and one here and they lock in at underneath so what you do is you gently push down slightly on the case and you're just working it slowly you can then start and start to just basically push the whole thing down like so and it will just come off and you then have your side panel which you then put at the back out of the way and you move your printer back on to your workbench. This area here is where your waste tubes are located. Now if you've seen the G5050 video you will know that these thin grey tubes are the ones you don't touch. You don't want to cut those, you don't want to redirect those, but you do need access to the waste tube. There's one located just back here, which you can't see, and there's another one located under here. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're gonna remove this bit here to get it out of the way, and close the lid, and then we can cut this section of plastic inner case here, and also here, so that we can actually gain access to the waste tubes here and here. Before I do anything else, I'm going to bring this down and then I'm gonna remove these two screws and this piece here. One. Two. Now the screws on these bits are very specific. As you can see here, they have that little lip around them. Okay, so remember that for when you come to put them back. And then this will just simply fall off and you put that with your screws. 
That will now give us access to this area and avoid us from catching it and cutting it. What I'm going to do is use my hacksaw, my little hacksaw here, to cut along this section. That line there is where I'm going to cut this plastic so that I can go all the way down to here and then this bit will become loose and the other bit I'll need to cut is here. You can get the time lapse on this one as I cut it away. Being very careful to check that I'm not cutting anything else. I now have access to a whole lot of stuff. That there is one of the waste tubes that we want to be redirecting out. I now want to cut this bit here to remove this section. So I've got one cut there. And then yeah, that bit's just gonna slide off. Okay, I can now gain access to that waste tube there and that waste tube there. I also got a pair of forceps. We have these for our other kits and things. So these are quite useful. Now the first waste tube that you want to be freeing up is this one here. It's just down the bottom there. If you gently pull that, as you can see, there's nothing in the end there. That one is the one that, as you've seen, is the one that points down. So that's the first one that you want to release. The second waste tube that you want to be releasing for redirection is this one here. Now this is on a little nipple, which points down into the pad area there. All you've got to do is just get hold of it with your fingers if you really want. Although I'm a bit of a putz on this one. There you go, and again, that one is now released as well. So now that we've modified our printer case or inner case, we then need to start referring to the bits of kit that we have um, particularly all the tubing parts that came in a little plastic bag in our printer potty kit. You will definitely need this, okay? So don't throw that label away, you'll need it. Now the bits you're gonna need are this straight through piece here, this Y fitting, the shorter piece of tubing, which is in the kit, and this little nylon tie. So what we're gonna do is we are going to connect this part into the end of this bit here. So I'll just grab hold of that and push it firmly on so it's all the way on like that. We then get our short piece of tubing and connect it to the other end. Now, let me just go all the way on like that. Okay, then that bit there, you have to manipulate this bit here a little bit. You need to then get that bit there around and inside like so. Now, in order to hold that in position, we're then gonna use this little connector here. Just in this bit here, you'll find there is a, a gap. So make sure you've got a bend in it like that. Okay, and the tip, and you put it through like that and then push it and watch out for these wires and things. You don't want to catch those. You do that and then use something like a pair of needle nose pliers or similar to grab the tip and pull it back round like so. So you got it like that. And what you do is you root your bit of tubing around like that. And then loosely, emphasis on the loosely, loosely. Pull that so that it holds that bit of tubing in position just there and roots it behind. Your piece here is going to need to be able to travel back and forth in front, okay? So you need that tubing to be out of the way and also this bit here, okay? So you get it something like that, a little bit more maybe. Don't crimp it. You don't want it to be any tighter than that. Once you've done that, use a pair of snips just to push off the end there, and then rotate that back so it's out of the way. We now need to connect up the other two tubes, one of which is here, and the other one which is our extension, so that they are both connected to this piece here. We get hold of this bit here, and stick the end in like so. Make sure it goes all the way on, 
like that. And the same with the other piece, which goes on like so. As you can see here, we've now got our waste tube from here and the waste tube that was attached here. Now, rooted in to our Y fitting, and what we now need to do is we need to give this an exit point through our side panel so that it can then all connect to our tank on the outside. This is where this label comes in. As you can see, it has top marked, it has inner edge marked, and then it has a drill point. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is drilling the rear of our side panel so that the tube here can exit out of the printer. So what we do is we peel our label off. Now the top, as you can see here, is this bit here. And the inner edge is this edge towards the center of where the printer would be if this panel was installed. Now take your time with this. This, uh, this label will come off, but don't press it really hard, okay? What you want to be doing is just getting it so it's lined up there and lined up there, and we want to be drilling just there. I'm going to mark there with something nice and sharp. As you can see, a bit of contrast. We have a little sharp point just there that we want to drill through. I'm going to center my drill bit and just gently drill my hole through the side panel where indicated by the label. So what we need to be able to do now is connect our bit of extension tube to the remaining branch on our Y fitting like so. One additional modification that you will need to make to the inner case is to actually chop back a little bit more of this bit here. Otherwise you will not be able to get this to line up and come out properly. So again, I'm gonna use the snips to make that adjustment. And then use a pair of pliers just to wobble that out. Now, one thing I didn't show you, but something I always do, is just use a file so you don't have any sharp bits. So, with that bit there removed and um, just tidied up a little bit. Okay, I was nearly ready to put the side panel on, and then I realized I missed and forgotten something that's important. Otherwise, the lid is just going to go crashing down. And that's this. I've got to put this back on. It's tempting to stick that bit on there, and there, but that's wrong, okay? This bit here, this hole, needs to line up with the white lug just here, okay? So you put that bit on there, line up the teeth like so, and then you put back on the lipped screws that you've had earlier. So we're going to put those back on. Nice and tight. And the other lip screw goes back on like that. Again, nice and tight. Now you'll notice the tubing at the back there isn't getting in the way. So you should be absolutely fine, but do look out for that. You do not want your tubing to be getting in the way and catching on this. And the next thing you do is just check that that is now working. So that's absolutely fine. We want to then thread the open end of our tube just here through and just loosely sit just outside the panel like that. Other thing to check before you do anything else, make sure this tube here is not folded, but has a nice gentle curve. If this bit gets crimped or folded, it'll reduce the ink flow out into the external tank and it will cause backing up issues into the print head and things. That's definitely not what you want, okay? So make sure that's a nice gentle curve and there's no problems there. 
Before you put the panel on properly, what you want to do is just make sure that this will all line up and the tubing will pull through properly and there aren't any kinks and folds. Now, one key way to, to check this before you put the panel on properly is just put this into position here. This bit is still loose. Put this into position here and then just pull on your external bit of tubing, not too hard. What you wanna be looking for is the sign of that little white connector tip, yeah? If that's coming all the way there, and starting to poke out of the hole, then the connector is very, very close to the edge, which is where you want it. Um, and it's telling you that there's nothing um, between the connector and the outer part of the tubing. There's no folds, there's no kinks or anything like that. So that's what you're looking for, that little white tip of the connector, just as you pull on it gently to get it to there. Getting this side panel back onto the printer is a bit of a pain and it will take you time. So allow a good 10, 15 minutes to get this bit right, okay? The big problem with it is these tabs here and here. In the right spots, under here and under here, so that the panel sits on properly. Again, as you pull the printer over to the edge like this, make sure that the foot on the front right is still on the desk so that the printer does not fall over. Then you grab hold of your side panel like this. You're getting these two lugs here in the front, more or less in position, and you want to get this lug just here underneath and into its position as much as possible. So what you're doing is you're basically manipulating that panel. There it goes, that's in. Then you push all of these bits home here you get that in and there, right, okay. Now at this point, before you do any more, what you wanna do is just pull, you want to pull your tubing here, more or less to the edge, and look down into here. So you're looking down into this gap here as carefully as you can, just to check that everything else is all right. Again, you're kind of checking to make sure that's there, that's fine. Looking inside to make sure that that's in the right position and that it's going to pull into position there. Right, then next bit is to get this lug just here. That needs to go into position. That'll be a lot easier, like I said before, because you've got a lot more play in it. Then that clicks in, that clips in. Everything is now lined up. And again, now that we've got this here, I mean, these are lined up, so that's usually a pretty good indicator. But once again, you're looking for that little white tip in the hole there. So that's all lined up fine. The panel is on. You can check underneath to make sure that there's no gaps. Chances are, first couple of times you try this, you're gonna end up with probably this one here, this lug here, will not be seated properly, and you'll be like, Ugh. don't panic, take your time, release tabs and things to be, able to, to be able to pull it back out again, and then take your time. So anyway, we've got this panel on, Everything's fine. The tubing is poking out absolutely fine as well. I'm happy that the connector's there. So what I'm gonna do now is put those two screws back. Last thing to do now really is to rebuild the tubing part and connect it up to the external tank. So first and foremost, get the tubing clamp on. This uh, crimps the tube and stops ink flow while you're emptying out the tank. Okay, so make sure that that is off. You get your colored connector, like that. Make sure that the connector is on properly. You then take your tank, make sure the vent hole is nearest the valve. And also make sure your vent hole is actually clear. So uh, stick a pin in it if need be, just to check and there's nothing actually blocking it. And finally, connect up the connector to the valve. As you push the connector in and twist it on, that valve will open automatically. Okay, and that's it. Make sure that that's open and not clamped and you're done. So there you go. That is the process for fitting an external waste tank to this Canon Mega Tank G6050. So now that you've seen how to fit the waste tank, the next thing you wanna do 
is clear the waste ink counter so that you can clear the waste error that's stopping your printer from actually working. And you can see that video 